Jalen, you watched the game, and JJ, you as well. From what you saw, Jalen, with whatever it is he's got in that hand, can he still lead this team to the NBA Finals? Embiid is so very dominant that he can do anything. But this Philadelphia team can't make the finals with this version of James Harden. Mm. He's 0 for 8 on runners and floaters. He's shooting less than 50% on layups. He had 20 points today. 10 were free throws. They're going to need a more productive James Harden. They're going to get out of the second round. I, I look at this in, in two ways. Number one, let's give the Toronto Raptors some credit for not letting go of the rope. It's very easy to do that. You've absolutely. been there as a player no down 3-0. Yeah, you start thinking about Turks and Caicos. That's a Can't very cool. real thing. That's, right. That's a very real absolutely thing. So let's give true. them some credit. My concern is the same concern that Jalen has. James Harden has to be some version of the James Harden we saw in Brooklyn prior to him hurting his hamstring. Of course, the numbers are there. 22 points, 9 assists, 5 rebounds but he has to be an efficient scorer for them to have a chance to win a championship. James Harden looks done. And I don't need Jalen Rose's glasses to tell me that. <laughs> okay, let's just get it out of the way right now. And what I mean by done, he's not a scrub. He can still play. He can average over 20 and eight for you. That's not what I mean when I say he's done. I'm talking about the James Harden that we saw in Houston that brother is no more. He's not getting this level of separation that he once does. He's not getting loose and evasive from offenders, from defenders because he just doesn't have the quickness. He hasn't been the same since that hamstring injury. He doesn't look like he has prepared for it. He's really, he's really healthy. And as a result, that puts even more onus on Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid, I watched the game. The bottom line is he's not 100% healthy. He's going to play. But you need him to be the Joel Embiid, and he can't do it against Miami. So they're not going. So, they're not going to the conference finals. So I, can, I, can I paint a picture for you that JJ eloquently teed up? The Philadelphia 76ers better win the next game. Yeah. Because if they don't, Doc Rivers has been the coach that allowed okay. teams to come back a couple of times for a 3-1 deficit. I agree. And then the pressure's going to be even more on James Harden, and NB's also dealing with the injury. We should state no team has ever come from 3 nothing down in an NBA playoff series. There's a first time for everything. You were with the Heat last night. You had the Heat and Hawks for us yeah. on ESPN last night. That Miami team that you saw, albeit in a loss last night, can this version of the Sixers beat them in the next round? No, sir. No. They, they cannot. And look, I do think... The 76ers have the best player in that series yes. in Joel Embiid. Yep. Do they right but, now? But With all the stuff hand, we were talking earlier about the Celtics and the Kevin Durant matchup, those same issues. Sixers have that with Miami. But let's not overlook the hand. The injury is a significant oh, factor. You, you could tell it was bothering him. He needs to get the MRI. They need to know what it is going forward. But that's forward. why you got to win and take care for, of business to play less games. For Mike Greenberg, ladies and gentlemen, he's looking so forward to Philadelphia, Miami. You're reaching. <laughs> it's over. They're not beating Miami because Joel Embiid is not 100%. You can grill J.J. Reddick the only way you can. You can grill Jalen. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter, Greeny. They beat Miami. Let me ask the legendary former columnist from the Philadelphia Inquirer, don't you feel bad for Embiid because he is playing so well. He's having his best season, an MVP caliber season, playing so well in these playoffs, and now he gets this. I feel very bad for him. I feel very bad for Doc Rivers. I do not feel bad for James Harden. He's got something to prove, and he's in position to prove it. And I'm not going to feel bad for Daryl Morey, who traded the house in order to get James Harden. I'm not feeling sorry for them. Well, and beating and Doc Rivers, yes. Oh, we're not going to do the feeling sorry thing, period. Because I heard people saying this was Shaq and Kobe. I heard no. MB and Doc saying that this was the year to win a championship. You didn't hear that from me. Show us. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.